Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be breaking down a track that I've mixed and I'm going to be showing you my vocal mix chain and hopefully I can spread some knowledge on the things I do. So, let's get into it. Now here in FL Studio 20 I've got a track opened up and usually when I mix it's quite simple. I just record three vocal takes, uh, vocal lead, the, the lead vocals, the vocal dubs and of course the ad-libs and these are all rooted into the mixer track as the following. So, Vo lead vocals, vocal dubs, ad libs rooted into the vocal boss. If you don't know what the vocal boss, check out the video. It's in, in the card above and also in the description. Uh, I explain what the vocal boss is in depth. So that's all you really need to do: lead vocals, vocal dubs, and ad libs. Of course, you can record more, especially depending on the type of track it is. But this is how simple I keep it. I like to keep things simple. So, lead vocals, vocal boss, and beat. So let's play the track. I'll play it from about here. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, tryna make man toothless. Yeah, they cool, hit hard like Cupid. Tryna air my bro, you're deluded. I'm certain you don't wanna get booted. On me, bro, boy, you stupid. Hope out that dark, he's clueless. I'm choosing, tryna get my stupid. Why does a boy love give verbal when Olympics? When I saw man hurt I see your up that's corn dispersal. But my ding ting jump, I know what Still write off statements like journals. But that's none of my G's like Kilo. Still got fly that way. Give it to bro, tryna do it like he from. can get pressy, things to get messy. Still step with it, tellin' my does like messy. Swing my Get chefy. You don't want to laugh, I'm going to hit chesty. Okay, so that's what I'm going to play for now. Now, let's break that down. Let's, how, let's see how I recorded, not recorded, how I mix the track. So, of course, recorded. If I played the individual track itself. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, trying to make man toothless. Before that, let me play the track without any effects at all. So, let me disable all the effects and you see how it sounds like unmixed. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, tryna make man toothless. Yeah, that corn hit hot like Cupid. Tryna air my boy, you're deluded. I'm certain you don't wanna get booted. On me, bro, boy, you stupid. Hope out that dark, he's clueless. I'm choosing tryna get my stupid. Why does a white boy love give verbal? Okay, so let's re enable the effects. And then let's go and make it down. Okay, so the first thing, of course, the lead vocals is always gonna be the one that you record with. So when you're recording, then you can see you can hurt, you can hear. So let's solo the lead vocals quickly. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Let's take all the effects quickly on the lead vocals and the master bus and the vocal bus. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, tryna make man toothless. First thing I added is a compressor and a gate. This is from Waves. So in this in this mix breakdown, I've used a I used mainly Waves products, as you guys can see, and of course some other free products, free plugins. So yeah, Waves plugins, the majority of for this video. I'll be doing more videos just experimenting with a lot of other free plugins, especially and just other plugins as well so also comment down in the description in the comments if you have any other plugin recommendations okay cool lead vocals compressor and the gates uh, this one is just compressor and the gate combined so it works wonders I really like the, the sound of this C1 compressor because it's different it's, it, it's different to for example the future compressor the future compressor works in ways that's slightly different I, I, you have to just use it side by side and you can hear it so I, I prefer to use this one as a the main first compressor so if for example if I was to be recording into the DAW I would most likely use this as a, if I wanted to apply a compressor whilst I'm recording at the same time so it can be baked in I will use this type of compressor uh, just just to load just load the fresh out a little bit and then put like a ratio of max two because I've, I've, I've realized that this ratio the lower the ratio on here on the C1 compressor is similar to a high ratio on the free to compressor that's what I've observed okay so let's play the, com the the compressor let's disable these other effects quickly and let's play it oh shit man's back with the rudeness ruthless tryna make man too that's with the compressor without it oh shit oh shit man's back with the rudeness ruthless tryna make man toothless yeah that corn hit hot like cupid tryna air my bro you're deluded with it just so you can hear it again oh shit man's back with the rudeness ruthless tryna make man toothless yeah that corn so you can see the com the gain reduction taking place here on the red bit here and of course, this is the gate. Simple stuff here. I didn't use this bit here. I think this is for side chaining or something. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, tryna make man toothless. Okay, so that's just the compressor there. Then I added this EQ. This is from the Renaissance EQ from Waves. All I did mainly was cut out the low end and increase a bit of the height because the microphone I used was this microphone, the Rode NT1A. Link in the description if you want to check it out or if you want to go and cop it. So yeah, that's yeah, the mic. This mic here, it gives a nice warm flat sound. A sound yeah it has a nice decent sound to it so I like the way it sounds but uh, of course with all microphones you're gonna have to inevitably just remove some of the low end because it's a, if you record especially if you're recording vocals so that's what I usually do so whenever you're recording vocals this is a this is the most common uh, type of EQ you're gonna be seeing on majority of vocals out there just 
to remove the lows and increase the highs. So if you didn't know that, yeah, just always make sure to remove some of the lows. Not entirely all the lows, but around this frequency here. That's that there. So this is not like a surgical EQ. This is more like just to clean up, just to get that good sound out of the, out the, um, the vocal take. So that's that there. And then, so without it, so you can hear the A and B. Let me play it from around here. To ten no commandments. Let's play it with the beat as well. To ten no commandments, but we still break bread like Jesus. Still got. Actually, let me take out the beat because you won't be able to hear the effects properly. To ten no commandments, but we still break bread like Jesus. With it now. To ten no commandments, but we still break bread like Jesus. Still got a last like supper. Without so it. So you feel him recording that pieces. How can a huge try beat this? If you come seven up lemon squeezes. Still got back this. Because it's subtle. It's very subtle. <clears throat> it's very subtle. Uh, yeah you don't want to be adding too like when you're mixing you don't want to be adding too many of the heavy hitting or hard hitting effects straight away i leave that for the vocal bus all the subtle effects and everything i did on the lead vocal so if you're wondering why i didn't do anything so crazy just yet i left it to this to the vocal bus but then again it depends on the track because sometimes i would do a surgical eq on the lead vocals if the vocals really need fixing like that okay next thing i added was a dsr uh, because i increased some of the frequencies up here and took away a lot of the low frequencies here adding a dsr what it will do for you is reduce those harsh frequencies like have you ever listened to a track where it's like it's too harsh too much high end and it just sounds crystallized not it, it crystallized in a bad way it sounds too artificial and digital digitalized that's the word i was looking for and yeah you want to add the dsr this is dsr settings then right now without the dsr you can probably hear that it sounds okay but i can still hear because i'm using these headphones these are the bayo dynamics 77 770 uh, pro so yeah I'm, I'm using high quality headphones so I'm, I'm, I'm able to pick up on these sounds so and also if you use high quality it's better to use high quality headphones so that way if you use if you're using for example if you're listening to another on another medium or device where the the headphones or the, the, the audio is kind of altered because some devices the bass is boosted uh, some frequencies are attenuated and some are boosted and such and so so just listen to something that has a flat dynamic range or something like that that way you can hear how it's truly sounding like and also of course i you reference using my studio monitors as well as well as just using from listening from this okay so let's get to dsr dsr without it to ten no commandments but we still break bread like jesus still got a last like supper you can see you can hear those if you if you if you're listening if you listen closely you can hear okay there's some sibilance that needs to be reduced but it's not a lot and that's why the dsr settings is not a lot but yeah let's just play to ten no commandments but we still break bread like jesus Still got a last like supper, so you feel him recording that pieces. How can a huge try beat this if you come seven? So you see, it's only momentarily, uh, it comes in every now and then. So that's that the simple DSR. Always use a DSR. Uh, if you don't want to use a DSR, you can use a uh, what's it called? A dynamic EQ. I use that. I, I also use the dynamic EQ in this video. Then I added this tape stop effects, of course. This is just for the effects. So I just put it on the lead vocals because I just wanted it only affects the lead vocals. All right, so that's the lead vocals there. Let's play the lead vocals. With the beat. To ten no commandments, but we still break bread like Jesus. Still got a last like supper, so you feel him recording that pieces. How can a huge try beat this? Okay, vocal dubs. Same thing. C1 compressor and gate. I don't really need to go that. Don't really need to go through that again. Of course, I think I just used the exact same settings. Yep, I believe so. I believe so. Okay, that's sorted. Ozone Imager 2. Of course, I'm always going to use an Ozone Imager or some sort of Imager plugin to stereoize the vocal and i do this especially for the vocal dub so it can just, so you see the lead vocals is here is here in the center i want the 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 vocal dubs to be on the side so to be surrounding the lead vocals so it can sound like there's multiple people at the same time not multiple people but it can sound like a spacious that's what that's what, I, that's what i'm trying to get out so i did that without it this is a free plugin link in the description go and check it out go go and get it for free without it to ten local mom let's the vocal dubs Okay, let's enable this as well. Uh, okay. But we still bear bed like Jesus. Let's take up the chorus effect as well. So this is how it sounds like we're just the compressor in the gate. But we still bear bed like Jesus. The ozone image of two now. But we still bear bed like Jesus. See, just kind of simple. I increased the width a little bit. I didn't go too far in this one, but usually I kind of do. <laughs> then add the chorus effect. This is just a. I think you can just use the Futu chorus, but this one is from Slate Digital, but it's just a basic chorus effect. And this is how it sounds like. Without it. But we still bear bed like Jesus. Now with it. So we fell in the corner and pieces. Just gives it a chorus effect so that I as, as if it sounds as if there's multiple people in on that vocal. Okay, then the ad libs, of course, 
Uh, I think I just simply you can check out my free ad libs preset pack in the description. Absolutely free. But for this one, I didn't use the free to compressor. I just replaced the free to compressor with the C1 compressor, of course. I think it's the same setting, but I've probably just reduced the threshold just a little bit to so it can be custom to the ad libs itself. And then added a gate, simple gate. Uh, yep. And yeah, I'll, if you don't know what if you don't know how to use the gate properly, I'll do a video explaining that. But just let me know down in the comments if you want type of, that type of video. Okay, so added that. So this is how it sounds like just ad libs with just the gate. We do. And the confessor. Supper. Without the. Bow, bow. This is without any. Aye. Effects. Bang, bang, bell, bell, with, with effects. Bell, bell. So you can see the difference between. Wee, wee. Gang. Okay, you get the gist. Uh, EQ, parametric EQ two. I think for this one, I selected presets, right click and press radio, and then I just extended the low band and the high frequency band ish. Number seven and number number one. And this is how it sounds like. Wee, wee. Gang. Basically, all it, it does, it gives it a bit of a muffled sound, but it gives it, it keeps it open as well. So you don't want it to be too muffled, otherwise you don't really hear anything. There's no much clarity, and it keeps it open. So that's why I usually like doing it like that. Then I added a free to delay free. If you don't have free to delay free, you can use any delay plugin you have. Just just get some delay in there, and keep it on. I think this is a one fourth timing. I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but it's synced with the tempos. And of course, the weight value is low. Let me just play it. Without it, bell, 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 bell. with it, bell, 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 bell. <laughs> back it, back it, back it, back it. Cool. Then I added Pancake 2, free plugin as well. Uh, link in description. And all it does, it sterilizes or not sterilizes, it pans from left to right automatically. And I set the LFO to 1.5 bars. So every 1.5 bars is going to go from left to right. So you can have a listen. Bell, 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 Listen with headphones, you can hear it. Simple. Yeah, I've explained this plugin quite a lot. Okay, so that's all the the vocals, the vocal chains or the vocal the, the vocal channels. Now let's go to the vocal bus because that's where the magic is usually happening. Okay, so now let's play everything with the, the vocal bus. Let's let's see how that sounds like. And then after we'll, we'll Break it down as we, as as we did before. Scorn dispersal, but my jinx in jump out of rehearsal. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my G's like kilo. Still got fly that way. Give it to bro, trying to do it like he. Okay, cool. So of course added reverb, EQ, a bus compressor, dynamic EQ, and one more compressor. So the first thing I added was this Renaissance compressor. Uh, I added the stereo version because of course we have some stereo effects on the individual channels, so it makes sense to be adding a stereo one here. So let's look at this threshold minus twenty six point two. Ratio 6.62, you can just see the settings here. But essentially, what this compressor is doing, I think you have to hear it. Yeah, let's just, let me just, yeah, if you want a video on compression, check out the card above. I've done a video on compression basics so you can understand why I'm even compressing. But these different these different plugins have different compression set sounds, so let me play that. Without it, scorn dispersal, but my jinx in jump out of rehearsal. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my G's like kilo. Yeah, you can hear that before I even add any, any plugins on the vocal bus. It sounds clear and nice. So, this is the compressor now with, with this with the compressor engaged. Scorn dispersal, but my jinx in jump out of rehearsal. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my G's like kilo. Still got to fly that way. Give it to bro, trying to do it like Heathrow. Yep, that's that's basically it, you know. Yeah, that's that. Okay. Uh, the dynamic EQ, I think this is where the magic, a lot of the magic, not a lot of the magic, but this is where it, it makes a difference to be using the dynamic, dynamic EQ. I feel like you should be able to, you should be using that. But this is a paid plugin as, as well. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's called the F6 dynamic EQ. And let me explain a bit about this dynamic EQ because I've, yeah, let me, let me explain it. So what did I do? Why am I using a dynamic EQ instead of just a normal EQ? And a normal EQ would just cut out a lot of the frequencies. For example, if I was to get up the... This EQ here, this EQ on the lead vocal compared to this one on the vocal bus here. This normal EQ will just cut out the frequencies regardless. And it will boost frequencies regardless. This dynamic EQ on the other hand is dynamic. So it will work on where the how much fre what, what frequency is actually being uh, put, in, put through, through into the EQ and at what volume. So what I could do, for example, at this frequency here. So let's play it. Scorn dispersal, but my jinxing jump out of rehearsal. So you can see the EQ is moving. Why is it moving? Because there's a threshold 
and you can set the gain and the range so the threshold is almost like a compressor think of it like it's like a compressor combined but in terms of eq and frequencies and yeah in terms of frequencies mainly and you can you can say volume also because it's a gain knob here and it's a q so instead of completely cutting out the frequencies what i'm trying to do is whenever that certain frequency actually is engaged for example this frequency here is d sharp 2 minus 38 cents you can see 77 hertz ish around here it will, it will show up here 77 hertz whenever the, for example when you're speaking into the when, when the rapper was what's that word rapping or recording you can see that in his voice there's certain frequencies that are active and the certain frequencies are not so whenever he says certain phrases or certain words some frequencies are actually engaged and some are not so the reason why i don't want to always just cut out the complete frequencies is because some words he says may some words he says has certain frequencies and you don't want to actually remove some of those frequencies because it will take away from the dynamic range of that of those syllables or those words he used so i use this because some words he says some words or some phrases it says okay i can take out some of the lower end some of them they need to be reduced especially on the high end for example if it says something with a high a high sibilance sibilance phrase or syllable or something like that then i'll take away a lot of more of the the, the high end it makes sense it, it would be easier to explain on the high end because it acts as a dsr in a sense so a dsr is basically removing frequencies or ducking the frequencies when those high frequencies are engaged that's basically what I'm trying to say here for this dynamic EQ. So in, in, in the same same essence as the as the lower end, I'm only going to take away the lower end frequencies when a lot of the lower end frequencies are engaged because I need it to be controlled and I want it to sound consistent. I think that's the main reason I use the dynamic EQ because I want things to sound consistent. So let me just play it and yeah. So without it. Scorn dispersal, but my jinx in jump on a rehearsal. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my G's like Kilo. With it. Scorn dispersal, but my jinx in jump on a rehearsal. Still write off statements that journals, but that's none of my G's like Kilo. Then play without it. Because a dynamic EQ, it's one of those things that you have to train your ear and your mind to actually start hearing. Because not many people actually use a dynamic EQ for such purposes, because you don't really hear the difference between just a normal EQ and a dynamic EQ. So let me play, continue playing it from somewhere here and I'll show you. So without it. Season. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces. I had a bad feeling that he faded. Oh whoa, not complaining. Still gotta do my thing in braces. Take my vampire out there casing. Okay, let me play with it now. Season. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces. I had a bad feeling that he faded. Oh whoa, not complaining. Still gotta do my thing in braces. Take my vampire out there casing. Why does why one talk on that but live the flesh he's shaking? Oh, fuck back. your boy, stop racing. Gang, gang, gang. Stay in your box. You don't want to end up like a you that you is seem to be packed. Bigger man. Okay, so what I'm what I what I can definitely hear is that the bands, of course, are kind of tight. So it's not like it's a drastic. This is why I'm saying that it's something you have to kind of train. Just keep using. So understand EQ first. I've done a video on understanding EQ. Check out the card above. But understand how EQ works first. Then you can move on to the dynamic EQ because you can see that even the the changes that are done here, they're subtle, and the and you can see that it's moving tightly. It's not loose. It's not loose because a vocal, if you're gonna you be using the dynamic EQ and it's so loose on the vocal, then there's some problems there because, you know, there's, there's definitely gonna be, you're gonna run into problems there because our vocals you shouldn't be making so much loose changes here. But anyway, yeah, I did the same principle as EQ and just taking away a lot of the low end and. This uh, instead of actually increasing the high end here, I, I attenuated the high end, meaning I reduced or ducked the frequencies of the high end. Season. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his brace. Sixty around here, here, I just duck in some frequencies there and some here. So that's the dynamic EQ. I'll be doing an in -depth, more in-depth video on explaining that dynamic EQ, especially this F61 or in, any other plugin that is a dynamic EQ. Okay, dynamic EQ. Then I did this. SSL native bus compressor a bus compressor why did I add a bus compressor so I can glue everything a bit together that's the purpose of a bus compressor to glue everything down together and I'm doing this essentially for the lead vocals vocal dubs and ad-libs so the stereo bus compressor this is by SSL as I just as just said it has an attack release and ratio threshold makeup so the attack is quite fast the release is kind of it's an automatic the ratio is four uh, set the threshold to where the vocals actually coming in of course and the makeup gain is 3.2. So this is how it sounds like without it. Season. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces. I had a bad feeling that he feared. Now with it. 
season. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces, I had a bad feeling that he faded. Oh well, no complaining. Still gotta do my thing and brace it. Okay, so one thing I noticed that it, I can really hear the compression, the compression taking place, because the attack is quite high. And why did I do that? I'm not too sure, but I think it'll make sense after you hear it in context. The whole, the whole track. So that's that. There, simple. I'll be doing more videos on just individual because i'm i'm going to be doing videos on individual plugins i feel like that will help a lot and i'll just do a longer video for each individual plugin but just make sure that you let me know which ones i should prioritize first so comment down in the comments next one fab filter pro q simple another eq compressor i'm mean, not compressor eq another great eq different type of sound i feel like these eqs once you keep training your ear to hear different how different eq sounds and different plugin sounds you start okay you start thinking okay for this track i can hear an ssl native plugin or EQ on this vocal chain. Oh, on this type of on this guy's vocals, I can hear a, a C1 compressor compressor on this on this on this track. That, that type of thing. So you can hear different plugins. And you can make uh, decisions based on those assumptions, or just by, by your observations observations and hearing the track itself. So this is the how the EQ sounds like Eden. without Eden. without it. Eden. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces with it. Eden. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces. The main reason why I added this EQ is because the compressor, the bus compressor at first, it brought a lot. It compressed the vocals. So for example, a lot of the low end was reintroduced. So I had to kind of just cut out a bit more low end, and that's a lot of the things I'm doing with EQs. Um, the majority is just cutting out. The majority is just cutting out because of the it depends on the mic source as well and how the mic sounds like. If it's a warm type of sound, if it's a too digitalized type of sound. Anyway, that's the Fab Filter Pro Q simple you know you can just you didn't you don't have to use that, pl that pl plugin itself but i knew that okay it will sound nice with that one then i added some reverb i added reverb on the overall vocal bus chain because i wanted it to affect the whole vocals not just the individual uh, and i could have added a, a bus send like a reverb bus send but that was not necessary for me at this stage because look everything's just simple i've only got one two five one, two, three, four, five, five um, channels, mixer channels in total. So this is how without it sounds like. Season. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces. I had a bad feeling that he faded. Oh whoa, well, no complaining. With it. Season. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces. I had a bad feeling that he faded. Oh whoa, well, no complaining. Still gotta do my thing and brace it. Take my vampo out there casing. Cool. So the mix is three point three point six percent. Uh, pre delay twenty bright hole. Okay, this is the Valhalla. I struggle to say that name. This is the vintage verb. Okay, so of course I put a low cut and a high cut EQ the reverb. You don't want it to be too muddy, especially when people just leave. Put the when people most of the time when I hear people put on a reverb, they slap on the reverb and they just don't even EQ the reverb out or EQ it to to customize it. And after it just sounds washed out and it sounds mud muddy. So make sure you just use the EQ, especially for reverb. I mean, you can add so much mix. You can add the mix. The mix percentage can be as high as you want it to be, but just make sure you want the EQ it out so it doesn't sound it doesn't clash that type of thing so you can hear it's just subtle it's not like it's that type of thing but anyway that's that let's play again season tuesday that the beef been seasoned that day that i whacked his braces i had a bad feeling that he faded oh whoa no complaining still gotta do my thing and brace it take my vampo out the casing why does one one talk on that but live the flesh he's shaking cool okay so now let's move on to the beat let's play the beat now uh, nothing is activated just yet on the master bus, but we're almost done. Eden. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces. I had a bad feeling that he faded. Oh whoa, well, no complaining. Still gotta do my thing and brace it. Take my van. Okay, so on the beat itself, I added this plugin called the Batman Stereo. All it did, it did well, <laughs> the, the, the usage of it is so that I can spread out some of the frequencies. And yeah, it's like a multi-band frequency dynamic processor. Something like that. Uh, yeah okay so let's mute the vocals and just play it so without it it sounds like this listen closely especially the high end especially if you've got he good headphones this is without it okay so now let me play with it it's subtle what i did, did was subtle because usually this beat is a one track beat so Mixing to a one track beat sometimes the beat it sounds too mono monolistic if that's even a word and then I, I just wanted to like, separate or stereoize or make sure the the stereo image of the high end is spread out so what I did it is set it to the high end here and increased it and of course I spread it out a bit more on the stereo field here the the width of the of the of the frequency and I, I increased a bit basically I increased a bit more of the I've increased the volume of the high end as well. 
and I increase the volume of the lower end but then I put the, the width to zero so I basically made it mono similar to when you go to here and you did this stereo and set merged yeah so that's what I did there and I merged the lower end so it sounds like the lower end is proper it, it gives it a bit more punch just did it for the low and the high mid and the high simple I'll be doing the more video in depth video on just this specific plugin and all the specific plugins I feel like that'll be that'll be a great thing to do so that's that on the on the beat and of course I adjusted the volumes lead vocals vocal does ad libs always adjust the volumes make sure the levels are out and I've done videos on that on uh, gain staging and pre-mixing preparations and whatnot okay let's move on to the master bus let's play the track closely before we go we go there let's play it from here you have to play your right hand bang let's go back skirt Chopped on bricks in a band or two see feds make sure ID's first to the back door and it's sign like Dirk work sign like VV work go down M now my rambles hurt gang gang Fuck with bro, get your head back, burn, trust it, don't move like a jumpy, I don't wanna hear kick back, get bumpy. I can get tumpy, flip that spin, that do it like gully, do it like gully. Okay, so now let's go on to the master bust. First thing I added was let's enable it and disable the, the first two plugins. First thing I added was this SSL native bus compressor. I added it again but different settings of course because I wanted it to glue the vocals and the beats together. Glue and everything together. So this out sounds like with it. And without it, you have to your right hand. Bang, let's go back skirt. Chop down bricks in a bag. Okay, with it, you have to your right hand. Bang, let's go back skirt. Chop down bricks in a band or two. See, feds make sure ID's first to the back door and it's sign like Dirk. Work, sign like VV work. I think if you're listening closely, you, you should be able to hear that it's becoming more glued together now. It's not sounding like separate uh, entities, like the, the vocals and the, the beat. They're not sounding separate, they're sounding like they merged together mainly because of this and you can see the confession is not even hard or harsh or a lot it's max I, th I think i've seen it reach this negative 4 db here of confession so that's fine that's very good and then i added this l1 ultra ultra maximizer uh, by waves and this this is what the main source this is what i just basically limited the vocals like no the the track like this so uh brace your ears because it's gonna get loud but let me play Without it quickly, then I play it with it. You have to play your right hand. Bang. Let's go back skirt. Chop down bricks in a band or two. See feds make sure ID's first. To the back door and it's sign like Dirk. Work. Sign like VV work. Cool. Let's play with it now. Wish it is. It's gonna get louder. You have to play your right hand. Bang. Let's go back skirt. Chop down bricks in a band or two. See feds make sure ID's first. To the back door and it's sign like Dirk. Work. Sign like VV work. Go down M now my rambles hurt. Gang. Aye. Fuck with bro, get your head back, burn, trust it, don't move like a jumpy, I don't wanna hear kick back, get bumpy, I can get tumpy, flip that, spin that, do it like gully, do it like gully. Okay, so this, of course, just set the threshold to where it's at kind of averaging, and then of course I set the ceiling at 0 dB, usually yeah, you can set it between 0 to like zero, negative 0 0.3, or whatever you want it to be, and yeah, I set the auto release and an uh, domain to analog, simple stuff, you can use this version here, but essentially all you need to do is just use use any maximizer or limiter that you want to use essentially because that's the final kind of step just limiting but you could also add on the master bus you can also add like an eq or like another compressor but this is more like a simple route to achieving such a result like this i'll play the track one more time fully but usually it depends on the, depends on the track and it depends on the complexity of the track also on the master bus sometimes i could be adding if you see my other videos i could be adding like a like a what's that thing called a virtual a virtual analog machine and stuff like that or just a bus com another bus compressor or a, a warmth a saturator and whatnot you know just to get in some um, greasy drive into the track but this track didn't needed it because it was it, yeah this is what the track ended up being i guess yeah okay cool all right that's that video of course you may be seeing you, won you may be wondering what's why did i add ozone 8 elements here because I used it before, maybe just to kind of reference it, and then I added this VU step, um, this VU meter stereo version, just to meter the track and the whole thing. But they were not enabled in the final track. But yeah, this is the track. You can also add extra effects to the track and whatnot. I'll be doing more videos on just vocalization techniques and and effects. So let me play the track one more time for you guys from the beginning, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you want to see next. And I'll be doing more, especially comment down in the comments on specific type of videos you want to see. Then I'll be working so hard to like making and recording all those type of videos. And yeah, whatnot. I'll be providing more free content as well because that's my 
that's the whole aim of this channel, you know, just to make to help you unleash your potential in in terms of becoming a better beat producer, mix engineer, and everything else music related. I guess at the end of the day, that's my hope and aim for you guys. Okay, so let me play the tr let me play the track. Hello. Oh shit, man's back with the rudeness. Ruthless, tryna make man toothless. Yeah, that corn hit hard like Cupid. Tryna air out my bro, you're deluded. I'm certain you don't wanna get booted. On me, bro, boy, you stupid. Hope out that dark, he's clueless. I'm choosing, tryna get my stupid. Why does a boy love give verbal when Olympics? When I saw man hurt, I see your up that's corn dispersal. But my things can jump out of rehearsal. Still write off statements like journals. But that's none of my teeth like Kilo. Still gotta fly that way. Give it to bro, tryna do it like Heath. They can get pressy, things can get messy. Still step with it, tell them I does like Messi. Swing my round. Ball get Sheffy, you don't wanna lava, I'm going to hit chesty. Tryna make it fizz like Pepsi. Tryna spool that sauce spaghetti. He can get clean, he can get techie. Pop out like Hayden or Jesse. Cut him to ten no commandments, but we still break bread like Jesus. Still got a last like supper, so we fill him with corn and pieces. How can a you try to beat this? If you come seven up, let me squeeze us. Still got back this pleasing. Tuesday that the beef been seasoned. That day that I whacked his braces, I had a bad feeling that he faded. Oh whoa, no complaining. Still gotta do my thing, embrace it. Take my vambo out the hazing. Why does one one talk on that about live with the flesh he's shaking? Oh, fuck like your boy, stop racing. Stay in your box, you don't wanna end up like a. That you is seem to be packed, beggar man, just pick up the Bible, man. Ah, oh, shit, where's your vapor, Max? You don't wanna talk on gang. I know you can't handle beef. You have to your right hand. Bang, let's go back, skirt. Chop down bricks in a band or two. See feds, make sure I disperse. To the back door, and it's sound like Dirk. Work, sound like Re Re Work. Go down M, now my rambles hurt. Aye. Fuck with bro, get your head back burnt Trust it, don't mean like a jumpy I don't wanna hear kick back, get bumpy I can get tumpy, rip that, spin that Do it like gully, do it like gully Fit that, see pagans, make sure that I rip that Aye, see pagans, make sure that I rip that Okay, cool I'll see you guys in the next video Make sure to like, comment and subscribe And yeah, peace